This will be a short clip of Jimmy Carter. The former president has been a vocal critic of both AIPAC and the Israeli government's policies towards the Palestinians. He has accused AIPAC of having an undue influence on American foreign policy in the Middle East, and of being more concerned with the interests of Israel than with the United States. He has also been critical of Israeli settlements in the occupied territories, and of the use of excessive force against the Palestinians. Carter's views on AIPAC and the Israeli-Palestinian conflict have been shaped by his own experiences as president. During his administration, he brokered the Camp David Accords between Egypt and Israel, but he was unable to achieve a similar peace agreement between Israel and the Palestinians. He has said that he believes that the United States should be more even-handed in its approach to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, and that it should put more pressure on Israel to make concessions. Now off to this wonderful clip and it will be followed with specific criticisms of AIPAC by Jimmy Carter. Americans don't want to know, and um, many Israelis don't want to know, what um, is going on inside Palestine. It's a, it's a terrible human rights persecution that is far transcends what any outsider would imagine. And there are powerful political forces in America that prevents any objective analysis of the problem in the Holy Land. Uh, I think it's accurate to say that, that not, not a single member of Congress with, which I'm, with whom I'm familiar would possibly speak out and um, call for Israel to withdraw to their legal boundaries or to um, publicize the plight of the Palestinians. And that is um, added on to by the uh, very effective work of the American-Israeli uh, group called APAC, which is uh, performing its completely legitimate task of convincing Americans to support the policies of the Israeli government. And uh, APAC is not dedicated to peace. They're dedicated to uh, inducing the maximum support in America, in the White House, in the Congress, and in the public media. In his 2009 book, Palestine, Peace Not Apartheid, Carter wrote that AIPAC has an undue influence on American foreign policy in the Middle East. He said that AIPAC's lobbying efforts have made it difficult for the United States to take a more critical stance towards Israel. In a 2011 interview with the New York Times, Carter said that AIPAC is one of the most powerful lobbies in Washington, and they're very effective in using their power to influence Congress. In a 2012 interview with CNN, Carter said that AIPAC is a very powerful lobbying group that influences Congress and the White House to a great extent. Carter has also been critical of the Israeli government's policies towards the Palestinians. Here are some of his specific criticisms. In his 2009 book, Palestine, Peace Not Apartheid, Carter wrote that Israeli settlements in the occupied territories are illegal and an obstacle to peace. In a 2011 interview with the New York Times, Carter said that the Israeli government's use of excessive force against the Palestinians is unacceptable. In a 2012 interview with CNN, Carter said that the Israeli government's blockade of the Gaza Strip is inhumane. I hope you like the video and give the channel a subscribe. Now, take care and bye-bye.